Hey, welcome back to Low Nose. In this video, I'm gonna show and most importantly explain to you how you can achieve the best project and render settings in Vegas Pro. Stay tuned. All right, let me know if this sounds familiar. You're on YouTube on either on your phone or tablet, PC or, or TV maybe, right? And you come across a video and you're just like, wow, um, that's a really good looking video. Like how can I get those settings on my videos to make it look that good? Huh, all right, so you scour YouTube and you, <laughs> let me know if you've come across this, someone who claims to have the best possible settings for rendering on YouTube, right? And it kind of sounds like this. Hey, what's up? I'm gonna give you the best possible render settings for YouTube. Um, let's go ahead and click this and forget, click that. And, and this section over here, forget about all those options because they don't mean anything or I don't know what they mean, but you know, whatever. Um, and click this because I don't know why you should click that, but someone told me to click that. So you should click on that. And sounds familiar, right? You kind of leave, you kind of come away from this video is like, uh, thanks for the preset, but can someone explain to me what just happened? You know, how do these individual settings affect my project, my videos? I mean, come on, we all got different stuff, right? Some use cell phones, some use webcams, some use DSLRs or professional cameras. You're telling me that all of that stuff all fall, falls under the same preset? No, it can't, right? Well, it doesn't. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show and explain to you how all these little options work, how so it can give you the best possible settings for your video for what you're trying to do with the hardware you're using. Let's get straight to it. All right, so before we get started, I just want you to remember one rule. It's called garbage in, garbage out. If, if you're recording in a low light, bad scenario kind of environment, then no matter what kind of settings you have in your project, no matter what tweaking you have, it's gonna look like garbage. I mean, yeah, it'll be nice 1080p, full HD, 4K, 2K, whatever, garbage. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you're in a welded area, uh, plenty of lighting so you can get, so you can work with the best possible uh, footage that you can work with. All right, so let's get straight into it. First, we have our, our Windows, uh, Windows, uh, Vegas session open. Let's go into our project video properties. Okay, now I'm gonna bring some kind of a clarification to what all of this is about by singling out one of these uh, presets. HD 1080 60i uh, 1920 by 1080 29.97 frames per second. Now, from the get low get go, this looks like the perfect template to start with, except for one thing, 60i, 50, 50p, 60p, you're like, what does this mean? Another rule of, th rule of thumb, stay away from the eyes. In the year 2017, we, do, we no longer work with interlaced video. Interlaced video is uh, those scan lines that you see in the old videos where uh, for every frame, it would actually shoot like uh, one pair of lines and the next frame will be the other pair of lines and actually you'll go back and forth uh, to make one image. And whenever that, that, that kind of system was off, you'd get that really comb effect. You know, it was just, it was just really weird. So interlace, that's, that's old technology, that's analog technology. Um, everything now is prog progressive, uh, progressive scan. So you wanna stay away from that. So what we wanna do is, let's start with HD 1080 24p 920 1080.23.976 frames per second. Now you're like, wait a second, whoa. I thought 30 frames per second was a sweet number for everything, right? Well, yes, but I'm gonna explain to you why yes and no, and why you wanna understand why everything else is, why it's there and why you wanna choose one or the other. So let's start with field order. We, like I said before, stay away from interlacing. Progressive pan is the way to go. Upper field, first field, that's, that, those are the scan lines I was talking about. The, they, the scan lines of uh, even numbers and a scan line of odd numbers upper field, first field, don't worry about that. Non-progressive scans, year 2017, bam, that's how it is. Pixel, pixel aspect ratio, what is that gonna do? Well, okay, so let's take this video file right here. We'll say no for now, and here I am. All right, now, what, what happens? I'll go ahead, we'll pick it, pickle aspect, pickle aspect, pixel aspect, and boom. Okay, look at that, it looks more a little more cinematic, right? If that's the look you want, then that's the look you can try to get. I already have a preset here and, you know, there you go. It gives you a more cinematic look. But if that's not what you're trying to do, don't worry about it. Okay, so let's turn this off. But you're understanding what's doing what. And that, and that alone will make your, your projects the best they can be. All right, output original. Okay, all right. 
in my opinion, all of this does is give you the iPhone look. Uh, you take, take your video, throw it in there, and you'll crop it so it actually fit the image, and boom, there you go. Output rotation. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'm going to delete this video. I'm going to fix my aspect, no, my output rotation. And I'm going to talk to you about the frame rates. All right. Okay, so when we first started, it was a 23 9.76 IVTC film. Short explanation. Uh, IVTC film or 23 9.7976, that is what move that's movie standard uh, frame rates. Whenever you go to the movies, you're watching something in 23.976 frames uh, per second. <coughs> Believe it or not, everything else here, your regular TV, it's all 30 frames per second. Or actually, not 30 frames per second, it is 29.970 frames per second. But everybody just likes to say 30 because it's just, it's just a whole lot easier. Okay, so that, that's what we're going to work with. We're not going to put 30... We're not going to put 30 frames per second in just yet, or no, we're not going to at all, and I will explain to you why later. Let's move on. Uh, stereos stereoscopic 3D mode, we are going to leave it off. We are not doing 3D. Pixel format, 8-bit. Guys, you do not, I repeat, you do not need 32-bit floating, uh, floating point video levels or full range 32-bit uh, floating point. You do not need this. I've seen countless of videos pe of people picking these things saying that, if you want the best, pick this. Trust me, you do not need this. That, this is for cameras that actually output video at 32-bit floating point video levels or full range. Unless you have like a $20,000 camera, you will not be using this. Okay, you are just going to make your project, your computer work a lot harder and your overall experience will just be miserable. So don't. I mean, if, if you want to see what it does from the get-go, you know, it's like, okay, right here, let's, uh, let's pick it. 32-bit full range, and all it does is just kind of affect the colors and kind of puts like a, 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 saturation, a saturation. It's it's nothing you can't do on some kind of outside plug-in while you're doing your project, but just don't. You know, if you want to, <coughs> if you don't want your computer to freaking choke to death, leave it off. You know, um, DSLRs, most of them. Uh, your, your iPhone or cell phone or webcam, they're all shooting at an 8-bit uh, pixel format. So just leave that alone. Okay. All right, so we'll turn that off. Let's go back to it. I don't think I've uh, stressed enough how not to pick anything else but 8-bit. Uh, full re resolution rendering quality. Yes, of course, you want best, but it all depends on your computer. If you've got a wick -ass, wicked kick-ass computer, then go ahead, pick best. Uh, you know, the, the difference between good and best is negligible. But, you know, if you feel like, hey, I've paid a lot of money on this beast-ass computer, I want the best, then go ahead. You know, just, you're not going to see that big of a difference. But, you know, if it just makes you feel good, makes you warm in the tummy, then go ahead. Uh, Gaussian, motion blur type. Go, go ahead and leave it on uh, that. What this is, is it makes the movement between, uh, between frames seem a lot more natural. You know, if not, it'll just kind of be like a little uh, frame image, but it'll kind of give you that natural blur, that natural motion uh, blur um, to give you a, a more natural look in your footage. The interlace method. Leave it on none. Again, we want nothing to do with interlacing video. We do, want, we do not want those horrible comb-looking scan lines in our video. Stay away. Adjust source media to better match project or render settings. Yes, leave that on. The reason being, like I said before, you have, let's just say you have three different sources of video. Right here, I've got my webcam, which is at 28 frames per second, 28.800 frames per second. I've got this video game capture, which was recorded at 59.940 frames per second. And then I've got my iPhone here, recorded at 29.983 frames per second. Remember, or actually, no, let me explain to you. Everything, everything that your computer has to do, that your project has to do to meet this number, whether it's 30 frames per second or 29.70 frames per second, that is additional work task or noise in your project. If you're asking the, 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 the software to create additional frames in your project because the, 
the numbers aren't matching up, it's at, it's making additional work. So you don't want to throw off a general number. You, I, actually, I'm sorry, you don't want to go off too far from the original number of what your video is. That's why we're going to leave at 29.970 because we don't want to go too far from our original numbers. If we recorded, if our video was recorded at 30 frames per second, 30 frames per second, then yeah, we'll have the number at 30 frames per second. But since our numbers are all over the place, we want it as close to our project as possible. Now, yes, our game, our game play footage is at 60 frames per second, 59, whatever, you know, maybe that, maybe in the future, I'll record at 39, 30, 30 frames per second, you know, so everything can be more in line. But, you know, you don't want to adjust the frame rate number two, uh, in my opinion, at all because you're just adding more frame work to the overall process of everything being done. Okay, let's jump to audio. Now, me personally, I like to record my audio at 48 uh, kilohertz, 24 bit as well. Um, if you like to record it that way, yes, but don't forget to change that in your audio ses settings. You will have all this great, fantastic, clear audio, but as soon as you throw it into your project, bam, you're neutering it right there. So make sure your, your project settings, I'm sorry, your audio settings within your project is matching to what you're actually putting in. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking good. Our project settings are great. We, we do everything we wanna do, blah, 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 blah. Let's render this sucker, all right? So we go to render settings. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna show you the render settings for YouTube. If you wanna know some other settings for other types of formats, then let me know and we'll go over it. Okay, we're gonna use Sony AVC MVC instead of main concept. Reason being, I'll just explain to you why. Main concept AVC, AAC, that's an old uh, video codec, okay? So we are gonna work with the newer one. Uh, that's for like um, older hardware, older, older software. They're just keeping it there as far as legacy, you know? It used to be popular back in the day, but they stopped supporting it, so now this is a new badass shit. Okay, so we're gonna go with internet. Uh, 1920, 1080p, 30p. We will customize this template. <clears throat> and we'll start from the top. Um, ABC, audio uh, video codec. We're not doing memory stick, so you can ignore that. High definition, 920, 1080, yes. Hey, if for some reason you had a 4K or 2K video, this is where you would change your width and your height um, so you can render in that output settings. Okay, allow source to adjust uh, frame rate. Source to adjust frame size? No, because we've already taken that in our project. Profile high, high, you can leave it there because that's all you have, you can leave it there. A frame rate, leave it the way it is. We've already, already explained to you why you don't want to mess with your frame rates uh, too many times. You don't want to introduce those uh, artifacts and your jitters or whatever into your project. Allow source to adjust frame rate? No, because everything's already set. We don't, we don't want to mess with these numbers. Field order, stay away from interlacing. Progressive scan all the way, bro. This lag specs ratio, you can't do that. <coughs> all right, bit rate. Uh, 16. Now, let me know if this sounds familiar to you. Before, you would always see a lot of videos and like, hey, yo, this is good for YouTube. This is good for YouTube. It's like almost like, you know, when you say something is good for YouTube, it's almost kind of like in a negative connotation now. It's like, well, give YouTube, you know, some hint now. I mean, they've gotten better. They, they're, they're in full HD swing. They're, they now got 4K videos. So, I mean, come on, give these guys a break now. You know, you don't have to have this little teeny size for YouTube, you know? If, if you're looking, if you want the best kind of possible output for your videos, then, you know, your YouTube is ready for your, your high bitrate videos. So, okay, so if you want 16 million, or let's just, or 16 uh, bitrate, you can leave that for cell phones or tablets. Okay, I mean, it, it'll look good. Uh, but my, in my, me personally, I like to do this one, 25, 25 million, close to 26. If you want, you can round it up to 26 if you like. Um, to put it into perspective, full HD um, or like Blu-ray, it's around like uh, 60 megabytes or a little higher. It's, it's around that range. So if you think about it, for YouTube, we're just, we're cutting that in half and we're going to make it like a, 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 a 30 million bit rate. Uh, for YouTube, that's actually looking pretty good. I mean, we're, we're probably talking about um, like Netflix quali quality, you know, so if you want your videos kind of looking at like that clean, uh, cleanness, that sharpness, then 30 is the way to go and that's the way I like to do it. Okay, audio, everything is the same, 48 bit, you know, it, it all depends on what you're doing. 
If you're not recording at 48 bit, then this doesn't have to be at 48 bit. You, your computer doesn't need to work harder for something that that's not there. But I'm I'm doing my audio at 48 bit. Uh, 120 bit that's normal, you know, MP3. If you want to bring up the the bit rate um, in that, maybe if you're doing like a mic comparison, a sound comparison, maybe you'd like to you could bring that up. But if it's just kind of standard, then you can leave it at 128. And that's it, guys. Once you have your settings, you can you can save uh, you can save your template. <coughs> you can go ahead, save it, call it whatever you want, and save it. And you can also do the same thing for your project settings as well. All right, there you go. You got it. You now understand how you can achieve the best project or render settings in Vegas Pro. It's a whole lot better than trying to memorize or copy down a template or a preset because if you understand what's going on before you, you know, all of these templates and presets, they kind of get outdated. That's why there are so many, right? You can always adapt and adapt um, with what you have. If you decide to upgrade your, your equipment, you understand how the project is working for you and what you need to do to always be on top and make it better. And you'll, and you'll be able to identify these things on your own. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, go ahead, leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead, subscribe. Um, I'm always doing videos, always, you know, figuring things out myself and hey, I don't mind sharing. You know, audio, video, whatever, doesn't matter. All right, guys. Um, I'm low for low nose, sort of. I sort of think I got it right. Until then, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.